Good morning, Joe here. We're at the Ammo Dump Shooting Range this morning, part of Larry's Pistol and Paul in North Memorial Parkway in beautiful downtown Huntsville, Alabama. So today we're going to talk about the interchangeability of the modern sporting rifle. Modern sporting rifles, often called AR, uh, from the name of the company that originally created this type of firearm, the Armalite Rifle. No, it does not stand for assault rifle. That's something else that, that was created by anti-gunners. AR stands for Armalite Rifle. Okay, so the AR that we're talking about, also known as a modern sporting rifle, comes in two parts, the upper part and the lower part. And what we're going to show today is how you can use one lower, which has your trigger and hammer mechanism in it, and you can use that with any number of uppers. Why do you want to do this? Well, simply because if you have one lower, you can change out the upper and change caliber. So we're going to do that with four uppers this morning so that you can see we're going to go from small 22 all the way up to big old 7.62. Okay, so that's what we're going to try this morning. Now, the good news is for the first time ever, I've been able to convince my colleague, cohort, mentor, gun expert extraordinaire, who's usually behind the camera, Stan is going to come over and show you how this works this morning while I narrate. So Stan, and come on over and we'll talk about this. Now you see Stan's got the first lower there. This is a standard lower, okay, and it's, you can see the two pins here that hold it together. This one is a release pin, this is a hinge pin right here. That's what holds the entire gun together. So we're going to start by loading up the 22. Now you notice how fast this works. When the car bolt carrier group doesn't fall out, it works faster. It will go back in. You simply attach it at the pivot point, push the pin in, close it up, push the rear pin in, and you're ready to fire. Now we've preloaded these magazines with a couple of rounds. Stan's going to get his ears on. And here we go. We're going to shoot 22 first. Five quick rounds of 22. Now you'll notice how fast he's able to remove the magazine and then disconnect this upper from the lower. Pull the pins out. And by the way, if you're trying to do this with a, a new firearm that you've just recently purchased, do not try to pull these pins all the way out. They're designed to be retained in the lower. So do not try to pull them all the way out. If you do pull them all the way out, then you're going to have a uh, really hard time trying to find those little springs and detents because they will go all over. All right, now we're going to go and fire the 5.56. Five, uh, five there we go. We're loaded up. Bolt carrier group forward. Three quick rounds, that worked great. Okay, magazine release. Rear pin out. Front pin out. And the, the upper is off. Now we're gonna move up to the 300 blackout, which is a little bit larger round. Front pin in. Rear pin in. Magazine ready. Charge and handle back, release charge and handle, and we're ready to fire 300 blackout. A couple of quick rounds there, 300 blackout. Bolt carrier group fired, release, magazine out. Rear pin in, pivot pin removed, and we've taken the lower off. And now we're going to put on the 7.62. The 7.62 is a large round, and it really gets for the program. Bolt carrier group locked back. Magazine in. Bolt carrier release. Safety off. There we go. Three quick rounds with that one. So you can see here. The point of this is to show that if you have one lower, you can have multiple uppers. 
in multiple calibers. We just chose these four as representative here, but you can get just about any caliber you want in your upper. It makes really good, good sense to do this. Now, as I said, if you lose little parts like that, then you can get spare parts kits like this. This is called an oops kit, all right? Because it's an oops if you lose those little springs. So you do not want to do that. Be careful when you're separating uh, the upper and lower and make sure that you just follow all your safe rules, okay? Uh, spare parts are available, but you'd rather not buy them most likely, okay? All right, that's it for today. Firearms Friday at Larry's. Come and shoot with us. We're here from 10 till 6, Tuesday through Friday, 9 till 4 on Saturday. Everybody have a great, safe day.